We look nuts. <laughs> Good afternoon. We're so glad you're here. We daily vlog. So if you like this video, come back tomorrow. And I hope you do because tonight we're going to Epcot. Woohoo! And I'm doing a vengeful run. <laughs> Oh yeah, did you guys know the Earhart's check-in today? Trick or treat, sneaky sneak, I'm just joking. I was just thinking in the car, I was like, we're getting primed for the Earhart's going to Epcot so much because like we've literally only been to Epcot. But then I realized like we should probably do the opposite because we know that once they get here, we're not gonna go anywhere but that's also a fallacy. Why? Because if anybody remembers when the Earhart's last year, they pulled a quick one and they kind of like first half of their trip, they were all about Epcot, which I is Earhart per use. But the second part, maybe they only can go to Epcot all the time when Sarah's here. Maybe. Because when Sarah left, it became Hollywood Studios Center, which I also love. And it was also the end of Illuminations. Yeah. Trip, so. And we're all still bitter about the end of Illuminations. Hey, yeah. Disney, bring it back. Fix the wrongs. What's that brave quote? So mend the bond. Mend the bonds. Torn by pride. That were torn by pride. Bring back illuminations. <laughs> it is surely a beautiful night. I will be putting on three mile, 3.1 miles on this Crescent Lake here in a few hours. But this is right where I screamed at Jenna from ACS that I was going to do the Chicago Marathon with ACS. And we are officially signed up for ACS. I think I'm gonna sign up either tonight or tomorrow through through the link, through the team for Chicago officially, but we're getting it done. Also, for anybody who was following the marathon, I think we mentioned it, but they shortened the path, the marathon by about two and a half miles because it was the heat and humidity got so bad. It was actually right here, less than two miles away from the finish line. I saw a young man on a stretcher, just like completely out of it with heat exhaustion. Florida heat is no joke. Marathons are no joke. Always hydrate. But I hope everyone's feeling better and rested from the marathon and dopey and whatever your races are. Let me know what your next race is. I know a lot of you are doing Chicago. I know a lot of you are doing the Track Shack Park Avenue 5K this weekend. I'm doing that too. And Princess is the next one in Disney, which is in like four weeks. I'm obsessed. I missed it on my phone, but that yellow gondola right there it was full of a bunch of youngsters wailing and screaming like their lives were falling from the Skyliner. I love a good goof off during a vacation. All right, so that was the Peter show for a minute. I was talking to my sister on the phone. Logistical meeting about the upcoming family ah! trip. I've been talking to both of my sisters about it lately and everybody's so excited, so. That's awesome. Epcot is Please. empty. Epcot World Travelers. 48 hours. 48 hours. And the best festival in all the land begins. It's so short. I wish it was long. I wish it was 17 months long. So we're at the new bathrooms. I'm not going to show any further. But this tile mosaic is the garbage can. It just is World Showcase. I love this. I want this in my home. I should have Lauren quilt this. Are these girls dolls? Sarah, we walk into the shop and Sarah goes, I think I want these ears. I want more like champagne colors. I think these are a little too pink. I think we missed that trend. It is literally a beautiful night out just to stroll the World Showcase and it's not even that busy. Um, um, okay, I haven't seen a character that wasn't Duffy, Donald, or Daisy here. Because the occasional the Pluto. Being... <laughs> but, oh, is this, that's why Minnie Mouse is here? Yeah, because, like, we saw Goofy. That's right, that, that makes around. sense. Okay, yeah. but it's still super cool, because Minnie Mouse outside, meet and greet, rocking it, spotlight, love it. Can you guess where we are? <laughs> It's Mexico. I asked Peter, do you want to go on Grand Fiesta tour? And he whispered in my ear. Always. Always. We sing on the rumba. We shout, ay calamba. What it means, ay calamba. 
caballeros, trique, caballeros, de Sevilla, Percha, We're gonna do something that we have not done. We've actually never done this? No, we did it once at Magic Kingdom, I think. When? Have long, we never? Long time ago, have we never done this before? That's right. We've never done it here. No. Because I'm kind of bitter they built this here because this is supposed to be the spot of a pavilion. We're gonna meet Anna and Elsa. 20 minute wait. Oh, we're going in the summer house. Oh, is it like a pre waiting area? Oh. No, 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 no. We've never been in here before, and I've never seen anything online or anything about this. So, we are doing this because we are going to get Anna and Elsa to wish Violet a happy birthday. And it's going to be so hard to not send it to Christina before. She's going to see it here. I don't know, because Christina will not wait until her birthday. Because Christina cannot wait for things like that. I think we put it in here and make it like Christina decided. Okay. Uh, look at this cool tapestry. This is a real tapestry. Can I have one for my birthday? Yeah, look at the ceiling. We also just saw these two in the corner. In this picnic portrait. Do you love it? Because it's their summer house. Yeah. Um, it's not in their summer. Going on picnics. Alright, Sarah knew something was fishy with this tapestry here. And then she looked it up for proof. I knew it. Yes, it's an homage to Maelstrom. And that's a Maelstrom. Back over oh, oh, the hall. I love this. I would give away this entire pavilion to get Maelstrom back. I would. In a heartbeat. Oh, I see them. And they're in their new costume. Hi, happy birthday. We have a tradition in Erin Del where you get one chocolate cake for every year old that you are. So maybe we can make a bunch of chocolate cakes for you. I'll okay. try to make sure Olaf doesn't take a bite out of them before you get to them. He did that on my birthday, but that's all right. Bye. Hello, Harlot, and happy birthday. Um, I heard you're traveling out of the kingdom right now, but we'd love to bake you maybe a chocolate cake or celebrate. <laughs> I hope you have the most wonderful second birthday. Bye, princess. Okay, I had to show this cool detail over here. Look at all this fun stuff. But how did we not bring, we gotta bring Violet in here yeah. next when they come in June. Yeah, she is literally going to. She's gonna really. explode, she's gonna yeah. explode. So that worked out, thank you Anna and Elsa. Yeah, that was sure nice. you're making a little girl's day and year. Word on the street is that the World Showcase music has been adjusted. Wouldn't it be word on the World Showcase? <laughs> but we're trying to listen out. I think this is pre-Epcot Forever music now. But, but we did hear it at Canada, Mexico. Yeah, Norway. Norway. But I didn't hear like it's. I guess it's supposed to like integrate movie music into the the cultural music. Um, I just heard like cultural music. Just like different. Like it was just different. Like they're just like updating it. Oh, you know oh. it's the best time of the year at Epcot when you see the photo ops out. I hope this booth is actually good because you guys know I'm not the biggest fan of the Italy pavilions, but they've been stepping it up. Right, but typically it's all about the butter and cheese and eggs. So, all the real good stuff. Sarah, go stand in there. This is how you beat the crowds at Festival of the Arts. You show up. Oh, that show is spirited. <laughs> We are going to live here this month. Live, breathe, speak. I can't think of any other. I just person. can't wait to see Josh, Josh Strickland. Oh, these two guys right here in the spooky outfits. They are water workers. They hold, they hold the- The key to the world. No, they hold the, the magic carpets in the air during Epcot Forever. When is there like, when should we say, when can we say, when can we not say spoiler before a cut Now. Peter finally grew up today and he is getting the water. Wow, what a day. It's the best water in this place. We haven't had it in so long and it's quenching my thirst. It's so good right now. Do you know that I'm quoting an actual person when I say that it's the best water in this place? No, I have no idea. <laughs> so. Thanks to our friends Ray. Movie speak. 
movie speak. No, real life speak. I'm quoting something that happened in my real life. One morning, me and my family were waiting for the One bus. One morning. One morning. It smells like cigarette smoke right here. It tastes like cigarettes. <laughs> That's movie speak. Anywho, we were at the Turtle Pond bus stop at Old Key West. At Old Key West. <laughs> Am I, do you even deserve to know this story? I'm going to tell them. <laughs> I'm just joking. Um, and a lady literally said to her children, Get a drink now. This is the best water you'll get in this place. <laughs> it was the water fountain at the Old Turtle Pond bus stop. So if you ever had the water at the Old Turtle Pond, Old Turtle Pond bus stop, you know. I haven't even had one swig. Ten minutes of staring at this beautiful world showcase. I'm loving this pre-show musical. It's very light-hearted and jazzy. It's very like music I would use in the vlog. Or as like or hold music or an elevator music. In a very happy but, like, yeah, happy, happy version. Love a good wall quote. Now it's time to go run. I'm gonna read. Yeah. First run. Since the dopey challenge. I don't think any of my stuff is challenged. Oh wait. Oh. I thought I didn't have my stuff. Ooh. Secret, secret. I got my running shirts on. Underneath. You're really gonna shirts. change right here? Yeah, I just gotta pull them down real quick. It's really bright. <laughs> Done. Alright, 5k to do because this morning at 7.30 a.m. It was 7, 7.30 or 8.30 a.m. at Disney's Castaway Key Island was the Castaway Key 5k to complete many people's 51.6 run challenge of the Castaway Key Challenge doing a dopey followed by a 5k today. It's got a really cool Minnie Mouse medal and a rubber 5k medal. So? I signed up for it. We're supposed to do it. It's supposed to be in the middle of the ocean right now, heading actually towards our day at sea tomorrow. But you gotta do what you gotta do. So I'm gonna run a 5k regardless. And say this is my Casper Key 5k, even though I don't get the medal. A Crescent Lake Challenge. Crescent Lake Challenge. Peter ran that away towards the beach club. And I'm gonna go read, I think, in the lobby of Boardwalk. That's where we park, so we'll probably want to end there. There's just so many good spots to sit and read. I decided to find a spot outside, right outside of ESPN, because it's bright. I was just thinking, I have been inside for the past, like, 48 hours in our apartment, if not longer, and so I should just soak up the time outside. Plus, like, it's so nice out, can't beat the view. It's a little loud with ESPN, but I'm pretty good at tuning out when I read, but it's bright and that is most important so my little eyeballs can see the page. There he goes. <laughs> Just like UPS, baby. Fresh it up and get right to the next trip. Look at that foggy Ready, cell phone. Let me see if I can clean this up. A little bit better. So, needless to say, Summer's coming back quick. It is humid, sticky, thick air, and it's 9.50 at night. Ooh, feels like. It was nice for me to sit and read, but to run, I'm sure. Yeah. But hey, it's two days post marathon, and I just did a 5K. Yeah. That's pretty great considered what happened, like comparative to last dopey. But we gotta go home. I gotta shower. I stink. I'm sweaty. Go to bed. Yeah. Does anyone else carry their dog outside all the way to the grass for them? Did you get too far without me? Hey, wait, hey, wait, hey, wait. Alright, the 15th daily message of the day. 
The struggle you're in today is developing the strength you need for tomorrow. Robert Two. I find that very fitting for right now for what we're all going through with work and the struggles and all everything everyone's going through. You're getting stronger day by day. So just remember that even though some days are harder than others, but some days are easier than others. And at the end, you will come out stronger. So you're going to bed, it's real late. Sarah falls sitting on the couch. I did like a little bit of work, but just like sit and plug and play kind of thing. But tomorrow's one day closer to the weekend. And I just learned today that this weekend is Martin Luther King Day or Monday. So I actually will be off work Monday too. So three day weekend, it's good to be home. Wait. Also, amazingly, huge thank you for the, all the people who have been able to donate or share the, our American Cancer Society link down in the comments or the info. It's for our Chicago, this October, I'm gonna run the Chicago Marathon and we are already more than halfway fulfilled with the fundraiser in just one day. You guys are the rock stars. You guys are. Thank you, we love you, it's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.